What's up guys, it's Apollo Uchiha here and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm back with a new short movie. The name of the short movie is What if Naruto was neglected and had boosted gear and yeah guys, it is an unscripted movie. Now before continuing this, shout out is due where it is due. Shout out to my fellow creator Anizy for suggesting me this idea. I'm, I'm honored, I'm just gonna say that and aside from that I hope this story meets your expectations as well as all of you just enjoy now make sure you leave a like and subscribe to my channel if you like the content of this channel and stay tuned for a short story on my second channel as well for today now without any further ado all of things said let's begin with our today's story roll the intro story begins in a lavish place in which many high-ranking people were gathered but these were not the normal people these people were devils devils of higher ranking as well as from different clans and they were here for the union of between two clans but they were not happy because it was a forced union from the phoenix clan side with the grammary clan meaning riser phoenix the head or supposed head of the clan was going to marry into the grammary clan with Rias Grammary, the youngest. As the marriage ceremony was about to begin, in came her entourage who was defeated by the riser in the game to conclude this decision. So you're back for more, huh? I'm gonna put the end to this. Last time you cheated, I was able to know because you yourself attacked. Even it was decided that the leaders will not be involved and only us, entourage from both sides, will be engaged in a battle. Hmm. <laughs> You claim and dare say that I cheated? Hmm, <laughs> pathetic. And I had more hopes from you, Red Dragon Emperor. I'll show you more hopes. I'll challenge you to a death deal. As Rhea's breath hitched, because this was the love of her life that was challenging this man who has now supposedly cheated because she knew about Issa one thing that he wouldn't lie. So, we see that the battle commenced. Ise was able to gather and unleash more of the boosted gear that he carried, the Red Dragon Emperor, which at one time has literally destroyed the time space as well as the Deviledom as well as the Heaven itself. But in the end, we see that Ise with the help of its partner, the boosted gear, was able to win. But before anything could happen, we see Riser rising up. He had an animalistic look. You think you're the only one who can use this? Balance breaker! As he used this, everyone there began to scream in agony because Phoenix clan had an unstable balance breaker that not even the legendary of the legendary legends from the Phoenix clan could control, let alone Riser. And all hell broke loose. His own entourage was the one who melted and died before his eyes, but he didn't care. All he cared about was this pest to be put down. As in front of Rias's eyes, Issei was pierced through his claw, as well as his whole entourage was killed off. Even his her own friends, Akino, Kordaneko, and many of the others were killed. As Issei was bleeding out, Rias then said, Stop this! Please! No more! As she tried to look towards her brother to see that her brother was injured as well. And that is when she began to terrify. If I can't have you, no one will, said Riser, as he was about to attack her until we see the attack number came. As Rias opened her eyes to see that, a whole armored red dragon emperor was standing there with his wings opened. You think I'll let you kill her? Then think again. Ultimate balance breaker! Red Dragon Emperor! As the whole Red Dragon Emperor itself appeared there, and all hell broke loose because once again the Red Dragon Emperor was there. And let's just say, Riser didn't stood a chance against it. And in the end, the whole Devildom was destroyed. So much that even the from the heaven, the angel and the head of all, Michael himself had to come down. What is going on here? I sensed a huge disturbance and I sensed the aura of the Red Dragon Emperor. See for yourself, said Rias' big brother, who was also the head of the Grammary clan. I see, this is not looking good. What can we do? said Rias' brother as the 
Michael then said, There's only one way. We have to kill him because his boosted gear has unleashed way too much potential and power of the Red Dragon Emperor. It is at the breaking point. Sooner or later, Issei will be no more. Unfortunately, Rias heard this. No! Please don't kill him. I'm sorry, Rias, but this is the only way. As before anything could happen, the dragon heard this. You think I will let I will go down so easily after escaping? No. As all hell broke loose, even further, when it fired a huge beam of red flames up into the heaven. As Michael's eye were no, what happened? He destroyed the heaven itself. Finally, now all that is left is to destroy this. You think I will let you do this, huh? Red said a figure that appeared there out of nowhere. Ah, so you finally arrived, huh, Bali? Or should I say white? As the white dragon emperor in his balance breaker mode was there. It seems that Isi cannot control you. He is dying. He is weak. And I am enraged because the only human I liked is now dying. The only human I respected. But that doesn't give you the right to destroy the peace that was made. I could care less. The, he cannot control his power, so can't I. I'll show him who's the bigger monster here, and why they should be afraid of me. As the White Dragon Emperor then said, speaking through Wally, he's getting way out of hand. There is only one thing left to do. We have to separate both of them. No, please don't kill him. I'm sorry, but this is the only way. You think I'll allow this? As more power was unleashed, so much that the White Emperor Dragon was sent flying straight to the wall. What is this? What is going on here? Such aura. White. I do not know. It seems really that Red has gone mad. As Wally, after being shocked, then said, composing himself, Can I use your divine divide to divide its power? Even if you try, his power is unlimited. I, being one with you, can barely hold on. Is there a way to stop him at least? There is, but it might cost you your sanity. Like Issei is dying, he has already lost his. That is why Red has released so much anguish and rage. Meaning that I must die to stop him. Yes, Wally. But I must suggest that you do not use it. Do it. What? I said do it. But Wally, I said do it. I cannot let him destroy the Midgard as well. I like a cafe there. <laughs> I'm more like a girl there. Enough. I have to protect her at all cost. I see. I'll do it then. As White Dragon Emperor then became the White Dragon itself, and the two dragons once again clashed before the eyes of the Heaven's Ruler as well as the two of the prominent clans, only surviving clans of the Deviltum. And as Azazel himself, the leader of the Fallen Angels, arrived there. What the hell is going on? Why did I sense that both the White Dragon and the Red see for yourself, Azazel? Michael, what the hell is wrong with all of you? What the hell is even going on here? No time to explain, but whatever it is, we have to stop them. I have an idea. You have to cast us away from here, both of us, in fragments of our own own. What, what do you mean? Our boosted gears. Both you and you. He said pointing towards Rias' older brother as well as Michael. You can rip apart it, and you as well, with your time as well as... Universe hopping skill, you can send it to another universe altogether. There is, the, there is no concept of this. <laughs> that is quite dangerous to do so, but uh, who am I to deny this? Because the fallen are also in danger with this power unleashed here. As in the end, Rius could not take it anymore. Not being able to separate from the only fragment that now consisted of all her family, her loved ones. Please send me with him. Why? I I just want to be with him. I'm sorry, but he's gonna get reincarnated because only a vessel can contain both of them and a stronger one at that. As after that, we see both Michael and Rias' older brother ripped apart the gauntlet of the Red Dragon Emperor as well as the wings of the White as they were quite powerful as they were still using boost and divine divide. What is going on? They're using their ultimate power. The Divine Divide is dividing it, but the Boosted Gear is using just more and more. So what do we do? Send it now, Zazel. No, I will go too. Rhea, stay out of this. No, brother. So will I. 
No time to do so. Here I go. As a huge amount of green energy was released, and we see that both of the boosted gears as well as Reese was hit with it. And the three items disappeared. No! I'm sorry, there's nothing we can do. Where did you send her? We have to call her back. Uh, even if I knew, I couldn't tell you. Because it is an anonymous spell that I used. Nobody can tell where they went. Damn it. Damn it all. As after that, we see some of the survivors begin to come out from the rubble. As we see Sarah fall Leviathan. As she shed tears of her fallen friend and most of the entourage of Rias, who was close friends to her. As we see Issei's body fall fall down there and there alongside Bali, who being a devil himself, as well as son of Satan, was able to somehow survive. Bali, well, you're okay. Yeah, barely. I can't sense White's energy in me anymore though, meaning the boost is, boosted gear was stripped out of me. <laughs> Still a bitchy experience. Check on him. As Azazel looked towards Issei and looked down. No, no sign. As we see, Shindo then looked down at his friend, his comrade in arms. <sighs> I guess I'll go bury him somewhere safe. And all of them. He would have wanted that. Or more like she would have. As now we go towards the other dimension where the boosted gears were sent. As we see, the two gears arrived there, as did a girl with red hair. And she was found by an old man. An old man with pale skin and two horns, and purple eyes with rings. Who might you be, young one? And what are you doing in my backyard? I... I am Rias Grimmery, and I think I'm from a different dimension altogether. Mm, and I sense extreme power for these two. These two boosted gears, I presume. How do you... I, I can talk to them. I can hear voices coming for them. One grieving, while the other one consoling, though. Still uh, meaning to talk. Ah, uh, I see. They are the boosted gears and fragments of White Dragon Emperor as well as the Red Dragon Emperor. Both of has the ability to destroy the world and tear itself apart. <sighs> they have done this to my world, but they were ripped apart from their users and sent here. Such dangerous power. But why were they sent it here? For only one person, purpose to be sealed and locked away. Where can I use and seal them? You can only seal them in a vessel, a person. Mm. An only compatible person can use them, I see. As he began to combine the both with his powers and was with the help of Rias was able to seal them away. I, I think I need to be sealed as well. well. What do you mean? I didn't tell anyone, but I grabbed Issei's soul. Can you send the boosted gears alongside this soul with them so that a fragment of my love beloved can be attached to the person who uses it hmm I see I'll, res I'll respect your wishes and do that as you have told me to do so as Hagoromo was able to do this with his Rinnegan as well as the gears disappeared alongside with the soul I see now that is done but there might be a chance that it might take more than hundreds or thousands years as well I do not care. I am basically an immortal, a devil. I can remain unhinged and can live my life freely as I wish. I, I see. As she began to walk away, where are you going to? Do you not need a place to stay? I will build my own. Thanks again, Hagoromo Suzuki. But I will wait for my beloved. As after that, Rias disappeared with a spell. As now we see that. Agaromo just waited patiently and revealed the news to his children, the children known as the Bijus. As for his real children, he couldn't because they were quite distant and he needed to test them out still. And in the end, his fears were true. One of his own has followed the footsteps of his mother, his older son Indra. And after his death, all hell broke loose. A war continued on, down to the generations of his children and all the way up to the clan warring era. So much has been blood killed and blood has been shed that he felt like his own hands were dried up. But it all began to change when he swayed the hearts of two young men, Madara Uchiha and Hashirama Senju. 
the supposed future leaders of the two of the most frightening and strongest clan as well as who held a grudge against each other and let's just say after following their footsteps the other also set aside their grudge and begin to work together to build a village and the elemental nation was formed and after its formation many wars broke out more specifically two of the most dangerous one and the third was peacefully resolved somewhat only little to know that's were caused and the hero for this all was Minotana Mikaze after the hundred years of creation of the village he fell in love with a woman who he studied with Kushina Uzumaki and both of them at the time unknown to everyone carried a gene as well as the boosted gear within them to be passed down to their legacy white dragon and the red dragon and now we see that nine months later they were going to have kids yes kids and suddenly unfortunate attack happened and the attacker demanded none other than his wife who was also the Jinchurikyo at the time the Jinchurikyo of the Nine Tails Minato using his brain was able to seal away the Biju after splitting it into two parts into both his children the older one Menma and Mito with the eight pentagram seal that his wife taught him and a huge catastrophe was prevented and everyone saw them as a hero since then as now we go into a time skip after that events time skip of eight years as we see that a figure was seeing Kushina Uzumaki as well as Menma Uzumaki no Mikaze and Mito Uzumaki no Mikaze all laughing and training in the backyard while he was watching them from the attic on his own as after he turned shut the curtains he went back to his desk in which many of the scrolls were opened <sighs> i don't see why it is necessary for me to mingle with them what's the purpose of this fight well you will find out kid they are your loved ones and your family they still care about you they never showed that yes red is right they never showed that even if i try to do so they just ignore me they never even gaze at me I guess you're right. Only time will tell. As after that we see Naruto was now in deep thoughts and was focusing on his drawing as well. Drawing of his kanjis meant for seals. As now we see the white dragon and red dragon emperor who has met again. Talk with one another. Are you insane? Why are you telling the kids false lies white that his family likes him? Because it is certain to me, from the looks of it, that they do not even care about him one bit. You're just over-exaggerating. They are focused on the other two. And it's not over-exaggerating, White. You are right. Maybe it's just that I... I just want to resolve things rationally. There is nothing rational in this world. If there was, then Issei wouldn't have to die. But he didn't, though. The kid contains a part of his soul. Remember? And she is watching over him. I still can't believe that she's here. She's the cause of his death in the first place. I like this kid. I have opened up my heart to him after such a long time. And I do not wish any harm to befall on him, whether he likes it or not. As our friend Hagoromo has told us, a prophecy at the time he sent it us here. It will all befall on him. He made sure that the child of prophecy will be the person who contains us a power from an otherworldly power, an enormous one at that, able to tear apart and to mend at the same time. He will be the child of prophecy. <laughs> and they think that it is the other two. Pathetic. They have no right to judge him. And they're not, I believe. Uh, talk whatever you want to. And justify your actions to the kid but in the end when he sees for what it is going on he will realize that i was right and so will you listen white listen Fred. i do not wish for our past feuds to continue down in this world as well we can start fresh i am opting for that option but you're not letting me by helping him out by helping naruto out so am i trying to do my best then do it my way. See, this is why we had feud in the past world. Uh, maybe you're right. I'll give them one chance. If not all, then you'll side with me. Deal? 
I'll follow your word and command. No question asked. Good. As now we see that it was night time. Anardo appeared downstairs to see that his family was celebrating and enjoying dinner. As his father and everyone's eyes went, Oh, uh, Nardo. Good, good evening. Good evening to all of you. As Naruto sat down on the dining table. Can I have a dinner now? Oh, uh, a moment, Naruto. I, I forgot to make yours. <sighs> Never mind. I'm not hungry. As Naruto began to get up, as he was about to walk away, Kushinata said, Wait, I, I'm sorry, son. I, I don't know. I, I forgot, I guess. <sighs> it's not like it's, you know, for the first time you did. It has been going on for a long time. You know what, give me a few yen. I'll just, you know, go and eat Jiraku ramen or something. I need to freshen up a bit and clear my mind as well. As Minato complied and gave him some yens. As after that, Naruto left. How come we forgot about him? What do you mean forgot about him? This is the first time I knew that I had a sibling. And a brother at the fact, said Menma. I could have done so much cool things with him. How come you never told me that I have a brother and he lives with us? Maybe he's a ghost, said Mito. He, he, pff, yeah, right, Mito. He's not a ghost. If Tochan and Kachan can see him as well as us, he's not a ghost. A person who has been living like a ghost because of us. He started looking towards Kushina, who also was looking towards Minato. Because they both needed to make something right now. But they were not aware that it was already too late. Because as they were about to leave, we see that... There was a knock on the door. As Minato opened to reveal that it was Jiraiya. Sensei, hey, student, family, I'm here to tell you about the good news. As we see now, after some time, Naruto was finished with his eating as, as well as taking a stroll as he was now returning back to his apartment. And both he as well as his two attendants were now in a heated debate that miso ramen was much more delicious than the chicken broth ramen. As Nard arrived, he saw that his family was outside with bags in their hands. Where are we going? Well, uh, we are going at Mount Miyaboku. We're gonna stay there. And, yeah, train. Menman Mito. Hmm, from the looks of it, you're the ones who are leaving, I see. Not me. Oh, uh, sorry, Nardo. Said Jura. Well, the thing is that, you see, one of your siblings is the child of prophecy. With otherworldly power, great enough to destroy and to preserve the power of the QB. And they had to focus on him and train them there. I'm sorry, but I have to say that it'll be best if you remain here for your own safety because that place is quite dangerous. And since our focus will be upon them and already divided, we do not wish for any, any more nuisance. I get it. You don't need to worry about anything, Jiraiya. I'll do as you say. Where am I supposed to go? As the parents felt a tug in their heart because their kid just was literally saying that I don't give a less of a damn about them. For all I care, they can go and stay there for all, all they want. Because that is how distant Nard has grown for them. Now that is not a nice way to say things, Nardo. It is hard for us to do this, you know, right? <laughs> hard enough to leave me behind, I guess. So, yeah, about my stuff. I'm gonna go grab it and I'm gonna leave for good, said Naruto. As Kushina had enough with this attitude. It's enough, Naruto. It's already hard enough, as your father said. This is no kind of behavior to show to your parents who are already struggling to leave one of their behind. Struggling? Last time I checked, you were struggling with anything, Kajan. You never even gave, gave me a time of a day. All I have been doing is just... Begging and asking for attention. When it was the last time you even spent time with me? Said Naruto. As huge amount of red mist surrounded him. And dispersed. Sending shock visit in all directions. As their eyes widened. As Naruto was panting now. What the hell was that? What did you do Naruto? I didn't do anything. It was not me. I'm, I'm gonna go grab my stuff. I'll, I'll just stay at Sasuke's house. Yeah. As Naruto went and grabbed his stuff and dashed towards his best friend, Sasuke's house. And his parents just stood there, shocked. 
as they saw their son go inside their house grabbing his things and leaving. You know, Tochan, Kachan, I think that we made a mistake, said Mito. Naruto, maybe he was right. I never, I never saw him even on our birthdays. He never really did spend any time with us. We, we know, and and all things will be made. Everything will be fine, okay? Said Minato, trying to console someone, even if it was hard or wrong to do so at the time, and if and if he was consoling the wrong people. As now we see, at the Uchiha main house, the door was knocking and banging heavily. As Mikoto Uchiha was the one who opened the door. Ah, Naruto, why do you have a bag in your hand and why are you here? Had a fight with your Kachan again? Or is she not paying attention to you all as usual? She said in a teasing manner. They left me here. What? Said, she, said Mikoto as her demeanor changed and she got serious, knowing that Naruto was close to breaking down. What do you mean, Naruto? What happened? Tell me. They left me. They said that they had to... As Naruto began to explain what has they told him before he left. <sighs> Go upstairs and sleep with Sasuke, okay? If you want to take a bath, you can do so. I don't need one. I just need some place to stay. Alright, son. Go there and stay. And I'll talk to Hiruzen Sama tomorrow onwards. As Naruto went upstairs and met with Sasuke, we see Tachi and Fugaku appearing. <sighs> what happened? Why are you there and sighing? It's just that, as after explaining to both of them what has transpired, Fugaku closed his eyes. I see. For someone who is genius as Minato, doing this to one of their own. <laughs> Pathetic. I can't believe this. He has just lost huge amount of respect from me. How can he even do this to young Nard over here? He's eight, right? Even younger than our Sasuke, I presume? They all are, but Nard specifically is. By three hours. Hmm. I see. Sasuke isn't going to be happy with that at all. That his friend is sad. We, I guess we need to give them some time and space. And we have to go and talk about this matter, Tojan. You will not, Tachi. I will. Because I am the one who represents the clan right now. I'm not that old. <laughs> Whatever you say, Tojan. As now we see, the next day council meeting was called. As everyone was there. And instead of Minato, we see... It was actually, it was, in Har, it was in Sarutobi who was sitting there. It was in, I don't mind seeing you again like this and all, but where is Minato? Actually, that is why this meeting is called, Anzo. I am going to inform you that Minato has departed on a trading trip with his family. Leaving one up there, I presume, behind with Fugaku, your clan. Yes, the youngest of them. Naruto is staying at my place. Alongside my sons. I see. So he will remain there, I presume? Yes, he will. Because we're gonna teach him the methods and the parts of the Uchiha way. Hmm, I see. But the whole Uchiha clan and council are defined with that. Someone must have to train him and his teaching must presume. I believe Minato and Kushina would have wanted that. I see. Then how far are they gone and how long will it take for them to return? Who knows, maybe when the badge in which their children might, might have been will be graduating. I see. As now we go towards Nardo, who was currently sitting inside the academy since it was his first day. As he was in deep thought looking out of the window. Currently he was in a debate, heated debate between Red and White Dragon. Emperor. See, I told you they were waste of space. There was no reason to believe in them. They were never going to give him a chance. And they threw him away like he was just a waste of space. No, it's not like that. Maybe it is, but not what you are completely saying. <sighs> so you're not denying that I'm not wrong or right here. Yes, you are right. But not completely. They have not thrown him out. They just wanted him to be taken care of by one of their friends. And Naruto just happened to decide that it was going to be Uchiha clan. Why are you so hell-bent on saving this family? Because I saw what Wally went through, how his family was ripped apart, and he regretted killing his family later on. I saw my partner fell apart again and again, and have huge regrets. I don't want the same thing to happen to Naruto. 
and I saw how Issei's loving family was. I felt their love for Issei, even if he was a perverted idiot. I loved him like a brother, and yet I lost him. They lost him. As this was going on, we see that Naruto currently was gazing distantly at a tree. As he blinked and saw that there was a girl seated there with complete red hair and blue eyes. As he said some words, as Naruto's eyes widened before he closed his eyes to open again to see that she disappeared. What was that? What was what, kid? As the dragons were busy in their own conversation, Naruto never got on who it was or neither did they. What are you talking about? It must be your hallucination, Naruto. Y you know what, Red? Y you're right. You know, kid, since we are on this topic and talking with you now, aside from our heated debate, how about we teach you how to use our gears as well as what their purpose is? You know what? That is a nice idea. You know what? Go to a secluded position after the academy. As Naruto went there, as the white dragon emperor then said, focus, focus hard and deep within you will find mind gear. As Naruto did, as he sensed that he had huge wings behind his back, which were blue and transparent with white outlining, as well as white gear wings. Oh, is this your? Yes, they are, these are my wings. The wings of the White Dragon Emperor. With the ability to divide, divine divide. It can be used to divide anything, even the world itself, and decrease the size or increase it. I, I see. It can also increase or decrease power of someone? Yes, even your own. What about you, Red? I can boost and give you strength way beyond you can imagine. As a huge red claw appeared there on his hand with green emblem in the center. Whoa, this is certainly amazing. Now, what do you say, White? Said Red. How about we use both of our balance breaker at the same time? <laughs> That will be certainly interesting. Now, Naruto, unleash the huge amount of our power and call upon the Ballast Breaker. How do I do that? Just focus and unleash all the energy at high pressure. As Naruto did, as suddenly the whole village was shaking, as it was having a huge earthquake. As suddenly there was a Ballast Breaker, and there was huge white wings with blue lining out on the back, and. We see that one of the eyes of Naruto's mask was now blue, while the other one was green, as the whole helmet was red, with instead of black linings, there were only blue and white. Whoa, this is amazing. Why do I have one white and one red gauntlet too? It represents both of us, kid. Meaning you are the holder of the balance breaker of both of us. As before Naruto could continue, he was surrounded by many, many of the shinobis as well as the Kage. So this is where the power came from. What is that creature? Nardo, do not speak. Let us. We are the Dragon Emperor. D -d Dragon Emperor? His power and aura was terrifying. What do you want from us? I have been just awoken. I was resting for many millennia and years. Or maybe eons. He's an old ancient being. What do you want from our village? You are inside the territory of Konoha. Nothing. After taking my sleep, I will be departing from here. As huge wings flopped, as in a gust of wind and blinding speed, Naruto was flying in the air and disappeared like a blitz. As Hiruzen was shocked and scared beyond his belief as he looked at his hand. My god. Stop. He said as his hand was shaking with fear. That power. That aura. Was certainly interesting and dangerous at the same time it that it was Okagisama and it was not only Konoha who sensed, 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 sensed this it was a whole elemental nation even those who shouldn't have been interested in this the Akatsuki as well as Orochimaru himself and at the same time we go inside the village to see that the academy students were evacuated and nobody could find or hear from Naruto Nobody knew where he went, and we come to a conclusion, or more like Hiruzen did, that it has something to do with Naruto. He just hoped it wasn't, but he had some thoughts regarding that. And same could be said for another person, 
and that was Danzo Shimura. Because his route has detected that the last person who went inside, as well as Tizumi and Izuka, who has determined that the last person who was here has the same scent as Minato or Kushina, meaning it was their son who was here the last time when they arrived here. And when the dragon appeared. And now the whole council meeting was called. Whatever the thing was, it might have a connection to the kid. The kid might have a vocal in it. Because it was the academy's break, the kids have wandered off. We should restrict the area they are supposed to leave. Not too far, I see. But what happened to Naruto? There was nothing found there, said Tizumi. And my guess is that he's either KIA or MIA. Let's just hope it is MIA, but not kill KIA. If it is, then what are we going to answer to Menma and Mito as well as Kushina and Minato when they return? Yeah. As after searching and thoroughly examining the whole scenario, they came to a conclusion Naruto really was KIA in the action, meaning killed in action. So they had to tell this sad news to the parents. As the newsletter reached, that was the Shiogakuri ruins where they were currently training. As we see Jirai dashing towards Minato, Minato, a letter arrived from Sensei. It is not good at all. What could have gone wrong that bad that you ran here, Sensei? It's it's Naruto, he's And that is when Kushina as well as Menman Mito arrived. He's dead. What? Well, what do you mean he's dead? As the letter was read by Jirai to all of them, as Kushina and Mito broke down as Menma was shedding silent tears. As for Minato, he just broke down as well. Crushed by the guilt of leaving his son behind. Crushed by the words of his son, feeling an enormous amount of guilt now over the previous one. He could have never apologized to him. He could now never make up to the mistakes that he has made. And in the eyes of the world like that, Naruto Uzumaki no Mikaze was no more. As now we see that, the Dragon Emperor, while hiding thanks to White's abilities, was watching his own funeral happening. Oh my god, they're having my funeral! Where am I gonna go? Oh man, look at Sasuke, the idiot is crying and his note is all over the place. <laughs> and that is all you worried about? You're not worried that whenever they will meet, what will they think? Well, I think you're right, but... Yeah, what, what can I do? I mean, there's nothing I can do now. You're right, kid. There's nothing we can do. <sighs> I just wish we could have done something for you. And we... we we could have been more, you know? It's alright. I mean, yeah, nobody would have wanted me anyway, except for <sighs> Mikoto Basan. And that poor bastard. But, I guess now it gives me a freedom to do whatever I want. And train properly. Yes, Naruto. It does give you that freedom. As now we see that we have a time skip after the funeral, which was even attended by Minato Kushina as well as the other ones who have arrived there. They didn't talk to Jiraiya though for a bit because even if he was feeling guilty and all that, he was the one who came to them and he they blamed him, not themselves at the time. But in the end, it was becoming evident when Mikota broke down and even shouted at them that it was their own fault that this has transpired. And now we come to a conclusion after many years when they reach at the age of 15. We see Menma and Mito were engaging currently with the Katsuki and helping out their friends from different villages while making bonds with them and helping them out like their sibling would have wanted. Instead of their headband indicating they were from Konoha, it only read one name, Naruto, in Kanji. They were doing this to honor him, their one brother who has fallen. And unknown to them, Naruto, the boosted dragon, was watching this or as the name that was given to him by the villagers and his bingo book title, the triple S rank plus being, entity, whoever it was, way too much ominous and powerful. If you came in contact with it, just pray to God and beg pardon for your sins because there's no way in hell you will survive. As we see that, both of them were currently in pitch as they were captured by the Kotsuki. As they woke up to see it was Orochimaru who helped them out while they were trying to save Gara. What the hell is going on here? Mito, you're okay? I'm, I'm fine, Nissan. But 
who are these people? We are the Akatsuki, and we are going to extract the Biju out of you. Biju out of us? What does that mean? Which means get that you can die with this. You have to get out of here. As both of them try to use their chakra as well as their Biju's chakra, but to no avail, as their eyes went. <laughs> you think we are idiots? We thought of this, that you might try to do this, so we came prepared. It seems it was more than enough for you two to be stabilized. And at the same time, the rest of the Akatsuki members arrived with their targets alive still. Ah, it seems the rest are gathered here. And the Gara Kid is almost finished. And that is when we see a being flew down from the sky as its eye bore into everyone. Leave them alone, said the voices combined in three. And you must be the boosted dragon. Yes. As we see that, the Rinnegan used it and said, Shindra, Tensei, bow before a god. As Divine Divided was used until nothing was left. And with the Bible boost, Naruto unleashed his own attack on him, blasting away his hideout into nothing but more smears. And that is when the other villagers were able to detect with a huge explosion near where their hideout was. That way, Sachiraya. As now we see the other villages Kages as well as a uh, party was sent there and they all halted at the sight of the Dragon Emperor at their standing. The Dragon Emperor said the Kona Shinobi. You know him? He originated from our place. We do not know how, but he is an ancient being, said Kakashi. Urizen Sama and some of the Anbus were the ones who were first able to get in contact with it. It just woke up and left. It just woke up and left? Said hey, yes. As now we see that the Rinnegan user and many of the Kotsky have died, and the statue was half blown apart into nothing more than spear. As for the rest of the Chinchurikis, their eyes were widened as well. And that is when they all saw that a red-head girl with wings that resembled a devil flew down. My oh my, <laughs> aren't you something else? Huh, Naruto. You know that I hate when you call me by that name in front of everyone else, or when I'm like this. As suddenly, we see that the moss disappeared, and a blonde-haired man was revealed there, with huge blonde hair that resembles Minato. As we see that Naruto looked at all of them as their eyes widened. Oi, 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 is that your kid? No, no, Naruto, said Minato. It's been a long time, Dojon. I hope you have been well. So you were the... Yes, I carried this power since birth. I could even talk to them, and the reason I wanted to talk to you at the time was because I wanted to tell you until you told me that you didn't have the time at the time. So I let bygones be bygones. You said bygone to us, son. Even had your funeral and all, you could have come back to us. And why should I? You never wanted me, or anything. We went through hell when you died, and you shouldn't have. You never gave me a time of the day when I needed you the most. And what gave you the right to feel the pain at the time when I died? Hi, I'm sorry son, please come back. Our family is not the same without you. It was the same as me before I left. I have seen you. You're happy as usual, chatting as usual. Although I could say that my Nissan and Nissan, after finding out about me and my existence, <laughs> they changed. And I guess I came here because I couldn't watch them die. That was my own selfish quest though. As wings appeared behind his back now. The white wings. And I'll be leaving now. Because my, this world doesn't require my sister's health now. But when it will, I'm just one call away. Yell out my name and I'll appear there. As Nora disappeared in a red circle that appeared there. After the rest of the Akatsuki was dead. And after that, an alliance was made between the five elemental nations after witnessing the power and destruction of the so-called Boosted Dragon. And, let's just say, Uzumaki no Mikaze family was happy that their son was alive, but saddened at the same time, crushed with guilt that they didn't listen to him. And in the end, we see that many years passed, as Menma and Inata were married, and as Grift arrived there, a gift from Naruto to his sibling. Even if he hated his parents for ignoring him and most of the people, he didn't hate them because they changed. They proved it by their actions. And they were always kept unaware of him in the first place, not like they knew that he existed. 
And after that, we see Menma grew and grew and only grew. Not only his village alone into prosperity, but also the rest of the elemental nation. But in the end, he alone couldn't do much. He saw that his nephew, Boruto, who was born, well, he was a quite a troublemaker. And he, when his brother got kidnapped, arrived with a rescue party with his friend Sasuke, who again was mad at him disappearing for so long, and whom had a kid of his own. And Naruto also had a kid. His name was Issei. Issei Uzumaki Namikaze Grammary. The son of Naruto and Rias. He resembled Issei a little bit, but he also resembled Naruto and Rias as well. As he also came along. And that is when Boruto met his cousin. His cousin which was a full-fledged devil. And carried on the power of both Albion and as well as the White Dragon Emperor, like his father. And let's just say the Orsusuki Momoshiki didn't see that coming and in the end he was defeated brutally and came and killed. Even his karma seal was destroyed and Boruto was able to survive, meaning no Boruto was going to continue. And when they returned, everyone was happy and he had to thank them before, let's just say, Naruto disappeared again on his family. Many years later, we see that Ishiki arrived again, and this time with Kara's organization. They were targeting Menma's son, Boruto, again. And Naruto arrived again to bitch slap them and send them back to wherever they came from. And in the end, elemental nations were secured, and the Otsuzukis were afraid of the more powerful beings than them. And let's just say, the Otsuzuki god was paid a visit by Naruto personally, and everything he stood for was defeated and demolished demolishing the beliefs of the Otsukis themselves and telling them to not mess with his family or else there'll be hell to pay. And as for Mito, she was the one who married Sasuke and had her daughter Sarada Uchiha. So Naruto showered her with most of the love alongside with Himawari. But as for Boruto, he was quite strict with him alongside his son. But in the end, these two were his nephew and son, so he was easy on them at the same time. As this is where going to be leaving the story of guys as the whole element of was safe and there's since nothing more to do i hope you enjoyed this one and if you did then make sure you leave a like and subscribe to my channel if you like the quarter of this channel as this is apollo uchiha and i'm signing off for the day peace